Scott, no Kaylin? Uh, not yet. Good evening and welcome to our press conference tonight. Uh, as we said in our invitation to this event, we recognize that holding a press conference in the evening can be challenging. However, we also understand the tremendous needs uh, that, that have been placed upon media throughout the state. So we were hopeful that this would give you a little opportunity to breathe uh, between your, your snow duties today. But we're happy that you are joining us, whether it's live now or in uh, the recording that you'll you'll be watching later on. With that being said, I'm Scott Hamilton, the executive director of the Oklahoma Democratic Party, and it's my privilege to welcome now the first African American chair uh, of, of the Oklahoma Democratic Party, Alicia Andrews, who will serve as your host for this event. Alicia, thank you, Scott. Um, so uh, thank you for joining us at this unusual hour. Today I will be joined by Tuan Jones, who is the chair of Congressional District 1 of the Oklahoma Democratic Party, and by Mr. Ali Canada, who is a member of the Affirmative Action, the State Affirmative Action Committee for the Oklahoma Democratic Party. Um, I just, we just want to say a couple of words about the 1921 uh, Race Massacre Commission and um, Senator Lankford's um, continued participation on said commission. Um, the Oklahoma Democratic Party has largely stayed out of this conversation publicly, you know, hoping that it would resolve itself. But sadly, it hasn't. Though Senator Langford issued a non-apology apology wherein he acknowledged a blind spot, he has done little else. He voted against impeachment and then voted not to impeach. His supposed blind spot re uh, revolved around the fact that the votes that he was intent on negating were those mainly of African Americans. He was intent on erasing the votes of blacks, of black voters from other states. His explanation was that he needed to speak for the 74 million um, Americans that voted for former President Trump. He needed to speak up for those voters that still had questions. Do you know how you get those voters the questions that they have? You answer them. You tell the truth. Was his blind spot math? Because by my math, 81 million is greater than 74 million. His non-apology apology was addressed to his friends in North Tulsa. What about the rest of us? Do we not deserve an apology? Or was he just trying to save his seat on the commission? A commission that will surely garner a lot of national attention it's sad, this is why people hate politics. It's this type of cynical ploy that turns people off and makes people stop being involved in politics. Senator Langford is looking for an opportunity to exploit the, the plight of black people for his own political gain. This is shameful and ugly. The Oklahoma Democratic Party is formally asking Senator Langford to step down from the commission so the focus of the commemoration stays where it belongs and if Senator Langford fails to act on his own, we're asking the commission to expel him from his position by the end of the week. Thank you. I'll now turn it over to Tuan Jones. Thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said in a speech, 
A man dies when he refuses to stand up for that which is right. A man dies when he refuses to stand up for justice. A man dies when he refuses to take a stand for that which is true. We may be more familiar with the shortened, reworded, and deprived of context version that's paraphrased, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. What matters to Democrats is that we are inclusive and not exclusive. What matters to Democrats is that we embrace and not reject human dignity and human life. Truth is more powerful than a lie. And I stand today to acknowledge that Oklahoma's federal congressional delegation has no diverse representation for the citizens of Oklahoma. Simply put, no black or brown representation. The fact that over 1,000 registered voted, voters have left the Republican Party since January 26 of this year is a truth that not only Democrats reject the hate philosophy fear-mongering and divisive rhetoric that the Oklahoma delegation at best turns a deaf ear to and at worst provides a platform to promote and disseminate its message. It is time for our black, brown and indigenous communities to, to unite against the style of leadership that the Oklahoma Republican congressional delegation represents. That includes the leadership style, but not limited to James Lankford, Kevin Hearn, Tom Cole, and Mark Wayne Mullins. We will not progress as a United State known as Oklahoma until we remove the cancer that keeps us divided in our cities and often in our own communities. Our voices should not be silent on things we feel passionate about. To just mention a few of those differences in beliefs, Democrats believe all citizens should have a right to affordable health care. Democrats are not in court trying to take these rights away from you like the Republican Republicans currently are which all of the current congressional delegates remain in support of. If they were not in support of it, they need to come out and denounce it immediately. Democrats are trying hard to fight for decent wages and not tax cuts for the elite 1%, which the current delegation has not publicly said anything about opposing the Republican support that $7.50 is a decent wage. Last difference I'd like to point out, Democrats stand against hate groups and denounce people who use dog whistles for hate groups by using terms and or phrases similar to make America great again. Oklahoma's federal congressional delegation would not stand against these types of groups out of fear of losing the support of the violence-based and fear tactic using hate groups. This is unacceptable and we are not afraid to say it publicly. Why this matters. Progress is impossible without change and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. That's a quote by George Bernard Shaw. Republican leadership have caused our state to progress backwards while disenfranchising any group that represents black or brown people, suppressing voting rights, and incarcerating more people per capita than most states in the Union of America. Based on the votes and comments of these Republicans that are in uh, Congress, they are not willing to change. They demonstrate no willingness to accept any other view outside of their own and struggle to embrace diversity. We are standing up and fighting for broad progress in the state of Oklahoma today. And in closing, I just would like to remember uh, Frederick Douglas quote when he once said, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank, thank you, Tuan Jones. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't um, thank the folks who have joined us in solidarity. So I want to recognize Mr. Cortez Johnson, 
who is the affirmative action uh, member for Congressional District 1, Amanda Swope, who is the chair for Tulsa County, and Naomi Andrews, who is the vice chair of Congressional District 1. Um, Mr. Canada? Yeah, thank you, Leisha. On January the 6th, 2021, we watched white supremacy come into our living rooms in living color on the attack of the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Um, Senator Lankford actually went out and tried to disenfranchise black voters in this process. And he also come back to Oklahoma and tell us that he does not know and he did not that he did not uh, connect the dots. Now, mind you, this is a United States senator. You do not know the geographical locations of the habitat populated in America with black people. So I believe that's that was a lie. I don't think Senator Lankford or um, Congressman Hearn or any of the uh, Republican delegation have any any interest in Oklahoma represent people of color, brown and black. And we asked Senator Lankford to step down off the commission because this is for us black people because it sounds like you're kind of hypocritical coming back here, being on the commission, but you're trying to disenfranchise other black voters in other states. That's hypocritical. Living in Oklahoma, uh, these people don't really care nothing about um, the people's health care, Democrats do, okay? Systemic racism, we, we're dealing with all that. And Senator Lankford is not a good representative of Oklahoma, if I think, and other people think, that you're trying to disenfranchise people that look like me. So thank you, Leisha and Twine for having this, and Senator Lankford, and anybody Democrats on that commission, y'all should be pushing to push them off. Thank you very much. If I may alter, I want to say to you, Ali, and mm -hmm. um, to the press who may have joined us, I, I do not believe that it's incumbent for, for the Democrats to encourage him to, to leave the um, commission. It, I encourage everyone of good conscience, regardless of party affiliation, to encourage him to um, leave the commission, one, because he doesn't believe in the mission, and two, he is a distraction. Yeah, I could, I can, I can agree with that. Thank but you. He, 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 any, any questions? He any questions? Well, as we said at the beginning, um, we do appreciate the press who. who have joined us at this unusual hour. Um, um, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to Angela Allman. Uh, her number was on the um, media alert. Thank you so very much.